data attribute comes from HTML. It's like normal HTML attribute in some tag. Here's the meta tag and here's the name attribute. And the same works with data attributes, but you can customize their names. So let's create some div. And now we can add data attribute data hyphen and after that you can name it whatever you want let's name it category and the category could be for example cars so let's create few cars bmw audi and for example ford now let's create other category and let's name it colors blue green and for example red so now we have few html elements and they have data attributes in our case those data attributes are categories so now we can access all those items in javascript and we can access them in many different ways um, we can normally in this case uh, probably you will use some class names like for example also you can name this class name as a as a category name uh, or just some other stuff but let's say we don't have any class names there are only divs so we can access those items with query selector because uh, there are multiple items we will use query selector all method and our selector will be square brackets and inside square brackets we will use the data attribute name so now if we assign this to some constant let's name it items now we have an access to all those items in the console as you can see here's the node list and we have a bmw and so on so what we can do with those items let's for each let's use the for each method on on them and let's create an es6 uh, arrow function so now inside this function we have an access to an item item variable because it's uh, it's the argument we pass to this function uh, it's a parameter you can also call it parameter because we some it's kind of defining the um, anonymous function so it's it's an item uh, parameter also but also you can uh, call it just a variable so we can now the console log every item variable and as you can see in the console we have an access to every single item from html okay so what we can do with those items we can get attribute we can use get attribute method and we can get the data attribute from those items so now you will see that we have a no because of course it's not a, just a data attribute it's a data category attribute here's some some typo data category okay and now we have three cars and three colors so that's correct uh, but there is another way 
for getting data attributes in JavaScript and it's a data set property. In data set property, we will get items from DOM string map object and then we can get the name of the data attribute because now we get mm, all data attributes there is no matter how we how we've named uh, those data attributes what, what's the custom name uh, this data set get all data attributes but now we need to specify what kind of uh, attribute we want because uh, data attribute we want because we can have multiple data attributes some other and as you can see this first bmw has two data attributes cars and other some some other data attribute so now we have access to this data set object and we can get the category name so we have the same output as before free cars free colors so what we can do with this we can for example change this this uh, console log to if statement and compare this category value with cars so inside this if statement we will console log item all items which are cars we can also get the text content so now we have the same things as you can see in the html document bmw audi and the ford okay so what we can do what we can do else with with those uh, categories we can for example create cars array and we can we can assign we can push not assign but push to our cars array we can push a new car name so now if i cancel log cars you will see that we have an array with car names of course i can uh, call this car name and then assign this to be more explicit in in the code to uh, this code now this uh, self explained so we can um, we can just omit any comments because uh, in the previous code it's now so obvious uh, what we are pushing to cars of course we are pushing text content but um, it's um, it's best practice to um, to describe what you are doing with your code so um, push car name to to an array but with the code like this const car name it's more clear what the code is doing what this code uh, is doing so uh, let's stick with this kind of code and we can of course do the same with colors color name and we can create another array colors and console log colors uh, instead of using the console log we can use console table and then array will um, will be um, outputted uh, in table in just a table so it's more 
uh, more readable console table in case uh, where when you are trying to log an array okay so we have colors we have uh, cars here in our code uh, and what we can do else with uh, those data attributes i'm trying to focus on javascript but those data attributes has also an interesting um, behavior with css for example let's add to div before let's add a content and as a content we can add just attribute in our case data category so now before every single inner text inside data category um, element we will also get the um, data attribute name so it will look like cars bmw cars audi and, and so on as you can see in html it works like this uh, of course if you want to add some space you need to add add it um, in quotes so now we have cars and the name of the car we can also style those elements by the category name let's say all cars will have a silver background background color so now all cars have silver background color even if we mix them with other elements okay in javascript we can do the same so we can check what's the color of our item so in colors let's say we will check if color name it's red i use the uppercase letter r because uh, our color name comes from the text content so it's not just a red you need to compare it with exact the same way as you type the name okay so if the color name will be the same as red string we can get the item style object and add the background color to red so now if i refresh the page you see that this uh, item has a red color we can do the same with the rest of the items but instead of using multiple if statement we can use the switch and then we will check the color name the case will be the red color and we can delete the default so now i can copy and change their names green and blue and now we have corresponding color to uh, the color name so this is just an example how you can use data attributes and uh, data attributes comes from html but uh, in html they are kind of useless because of course you can style items by data attributes but mm, they are not created uh, for mm, for that it's not for uh, another selector for styling it's just an side effect uh, of those data attributes the main reason for using data attributes uh, is to pass some data to javascript and it's important that mm, the data 
you you're passing to JavaScript, uh, it's not data you want to uh, show because um, BMW, blue, green, and and um, so on. Uh, those are data. Those are texts uh, which you want to show people you uh, you um, users uh, of your website uh, but also you can get those um, those um, names in javascript without uh, any data attributes with text content so for data attributes uh, you can pass some hidden data and then get those uh, data in JavaScript. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.